Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki here. I'm here with this month in Dragalia Lost because uh, we finally got some Mega Man news and I wanted to talk about it. I'm really excited about it. I'm real hyped for it. So that's why um, I'm making this video right here. I'm also releasing this way in the dead of night. So hopefully when you see this, you will have heard the news and you'll be able to share my excitement. So I'm also going to run down just in general what's happening this month in Dragalia. But um, for the most part, it's about Mega Man. So the first thing off, they start off with saying, hey, thanks everyone for kind of enjoying the first year event. We know it was kind of a bummer, but we thank you for enjoying it anyway. And I think that's really cute because Fractured Futures was really a, it was a very well done story. It was extremely sad though. Uh, I liked it. I liked it a whole bunch. A lot of people liked it. So more stuff from that from Chigalia would be appreciated. So let's this so this is basically what they're going to talk about in regards to the Mega Man event they start with they, first of all they plan on sharing more about his event the so the Mega Man event is coming at the end of the month and you'll hear more about it through the month as we lead up to it of course there won't be a summon showcase for it meaning that Mega Man is the only thing we're getting from the Mega Man universe they said we're sorry there's no summon showcase but we're making Mega Man extra good to make sure that it's worthy of it which is really interesting because I don't know what the summon showcase like obviously they're gonna have something to summon on during the Mega Man event I just don't know what um, I have no idea what it could be I don't know if it's not Mega Man related what could they possibly I don't know we'll figure I guess we'll see when that comes up um, so you have to undo, you'll have to unlock Mega Man they say you have to do certain conditions to get him so I wonder if that means that he's not going to be like, um, so most of the time when you get a free to play unit, you have to get their affection level up. And what it really is, is that you just have to use them in a whole bunch of events and then they unlock for you. So I wonder if Mega Man is going to be the same or if he's going to be different because they, it says right here, uh, all players who participate in the event and fulfill certain conditions are able to get him. So I don't know if they've always used this wording for events, but we'll see. Um, they also go on to say this might be a little bit disappointing but don't worry Mega Man has a lot of special features coming up one of them is that one of Mega Man's skills allows him to switch weapons with a special function and then use those weapons a certain amount of times so I'm gonna guess that that means a Mega Man can basically use every weapon in the game but only for a certain amount of time that's how I'm currently understanding this is that he's technically so his main class is going to be wand, but he's going to be able to use all the weapons currently in the game, but only through a skill. I don't know if that means that the, the the it's random what weapon you get or something like that. Like we're going to have to, this is another thing of like, there's so much to like digest because this is the first time anyone's really ever had something like this. I mean, skill shift, we've had people completely turn into like dragons that are specific to them, like Mim and the brand new um, female unit that came out, the little girl, um, Larity, something like that. But this is the first person who's actually doing something different with their animations uh, that are not canned like everyone else's is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, not only is he a wand user, he moves differently from all other wand users, and he can fire off uh, shots at rapid succession. So I wonder if that means the more you tap, the more um, damage you do, similar to Mega Man or something. Um... He's also capable of using the charge shot by doing a force strike and when swiping so when you swipe you'll no longer do a roll if you're Mega Man you'll do a slide which if you've played Mega Man um, starting from Mega Man 3 Mega Man has a slide so I don't know I assume I don't know <laughs> I honestly don't know what the difference is between a roll and a slide but we'll see if that means anything about how he plays maybe Mega Man is faster like the slide is like a faster way to get around as opposed to a roll, but we'll see. Um, when he hits zero HP, he'll die just like in the video games. Uh, he'll come back, he, but they say, don't worry, he'll come back, he'll be fine. So they want to obviously include the animation where Mega Man goes boop, 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 you know, whenever you die at the classic Mega Man death. And then finally, when he shapeshifts, he become he summons Rush, and you ride on him. So you basically get the Rush Jet um, from Mega Man. A lot of people were kind of thinking like, so the shapeshift. I need to see how Rush Jet looks, but a lot of people were kind of expecting him to turn into X, which I don't know if you like the size difference between Mega Man regular and Mega Man X is not that different. He's like, if you if you stack two Mega Mans on top of each other, you get the size of Mega Man X. So I don't. Rush Jet makes sense. I think that's keeping it with um, the canon of Mega Man pretty pretty well. And I'm happy to see Rushes in the game as well. 
And of course, they'll actually show a Mega Man in action somewhere in mid-November, so check it out. Oh, oh, this art. I'm going to read what it says up here, but I think this has to be confirmation about the bosses of Mega Man. Because these are all the bosses from Mega Man 2. It's Air Man, that is Metal Man, Bubble Man, Quick Man, Wood Man, Crash Man, uh, Heat Man, and... Oh, Crash Man? No, Crash Man. Who is the eighth? robot boss let me see air man metal man bubble man quick man wood man heat man crash man flash man this one's flash man this is crash man all right and there's rush very nice very nice art so here we go i'll be really excited i'm also going to be very kind of like angry if they actually have all the eight robot bosses in the game and they decided not to do a summon showcase where you just get the eight Mega Man robot bosses. Are you kidding me? I would love that. Anyway, let's read what it says here. Um, this event will also have Mega Man uh, event exclusive weapons. By equipping these weapons, any adventurer will be able to use the Mega Buster's charge shot. You'll also be able to get another event specific worm print. And some of these can be arranged to form one big picture. Huh. We're... We're also preparing the number of songs with special arrangements, including Dr. Wily Stage 1 from Mega Man 2, and you'll be able to hear the original songs by meeting certain conditions. What does that mean? Uh, obviously, that means that, I guess, if you fight the bu I don't know if you've ever played this game called Spelunky, but in Spelunky, you had a chance to trigger a very special... Um, 8-bit version of a song so maybe it would be similar like that like or maybe if you finish a boss quickly enough or you get there quickly enough you'll hear the original music but who knows um obviously more things to look forward to and these are the weapons based off of i'm gonna assume this is based off of the eight robot masters right one two three four five six seven eight yeah so it's i think it's likely that we'll maybe see obviously this is me speculating speculation time right now let me put this down a little bit more so you can see it um, we'll probably have to grind the eight robot bosses and then get a weapon based off of that based off of them So meaning we'll maybe get a weapon that's similar to the crash man ability somewhere something like similar to Yeah, something similar like to metal man if that's true Then the metal man weapon will be extremely OP because the metal man weapon is the greatest weapon in the history of Mega Man as far as I uh, remember as anyway Okay, and that's basically all the Mega Man news we got right there Here's some other events. You should really like look into this yourself because it's a lot to read. But basically they're saying they're adding two wind after a cursed archives. We're going to get a another event. Um, so the next upcoming sh summon showcase will have two wind adventurers. One is called um, Akasha. She'll be added and then also it will be the first wind attuned five staff user. She'll be the first five staff user. Has there never been one? I'll be damned, there is not a 5-staff wind user out there right now. And then they'll also add a 5-dragon called Hoster. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, this will be the first time a dragon will have a Prism Primed ability, and the adventurer you're controlling will receive... Oh, so that means this is going to be... So just by using this dragon, you're going to just get this up. Because most dragon abilities are... You get them once you transform into the dragon. There are some cases where, obviously, like the strength boost up and Nyarlathotep's um, shield activates only during certain conditions. But I don't know what. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. I'll see how that goes. Um, and after the Stirring Shadows event ends, we'll be bringing the Kindness and Capacity raid event back. So it's another rerun. Like the Fractured Futures event, this raid will use raid... Oh, okay, good, good, good. Oh, no, not good. They'll use the raid boost system again. I really hope... Okay, they received a lot of feedback, good. Because here's the thing, is that I liked the raid boost. I didn't like the drop rate of the super rare ones. So, it looks like they've listened to the feedback and they'll be changing that, which is good. I like that Dragalia listens. So, when there's something of worth, of worth to complain about... Tell them, you know, nicely, and they'll listen. Um, notifications for information on that. We're planning on adding some very new, unique... Okay, and they'll be adding adventures to this one as well. All right. Uh, interesting. And then, of course, we'll get some... I know that for this one specifically, they're adding a quest button, so it's actually easier to get to quests 
Um, cause currently it's actually pretty tough to actually get to quests sometimes. Um, it's, it's really harder than it should be for some weird reason. Even now, as I've played for over a year, I still sometimes don't know how to get into quests correctly. It's like not built into me. Um, yeah, the quest button is coming. They gave this, which was basically a free character upgrade. And here's another thing is that the bosses they mentioned during the first anniversary, um, video where they said like oh these extremely tough bosses are coming they're coming so it assumes and also that i think they've said that this is going to be the hardest they'll be extremely difficult they'll be harder than anything we've prepared, prepared we've played so far so that's why they're being so generous and giving us what is basically a free 200 unit and also a bunch of stuff to help upgrade our facilities as well so yeah hmm and then the next installation of this month's in Dragalia Lost will be posted on 12.1, and it will be the last one for this year. And the Mega Man event will already be live at that point, and we're working hard on developing. Okay, cool. So obviously that um, in December is when um, Dragul will come back and stuff like that. Man, it's a lot of stuff. And let me tell you, I don't... I mainly made this for... Um, for Mega Man talk, all this talk right here is all very good. <laughs> They're adding new difficulty levels to the Advanced Dragon Trials. That's cool and all. Um, that's stuff that like needs to get into the minutia later. That's stuff that I... It's a little bit advanced at my current point so i'm really looking at the this is this is this this is actual end game talk content they're talking about stuff that will help the you know help people who are at the top of the game feel like the investment in the characters is something that's worth or something you know what i mean i don't think i'm saying my points clearly so what i'm trying to say is god mega man i can't wait for mega man and that's today's video i hope you liked it if you did leave a like um Mega Man's awesome I can't wait I'm so unbelievably hyped that I was so willing to basically record at what is almost midnight my time to do this and I'll see you for the next video whatever I decide to do and I hope you have a good day all right see you later